What is up everybody? It's your boy Brian with another uh, episode here on the American Auto YouTube channel. And if any of you run a shop, work in a shop, anything like that, you know there's a such thing called boomerang vehicles. Maybe you don't use that term. Maybe you do. I don't know. Well, I have a boomerang vehicle. We are on our way now to Colonial Heights to go see what's wrong with this dump truck. It's not the fuel pump. <laughs> truck still runs excellent. He drove it yesterday and put probably 50 miles on it or so. Now, I said I didn't want him taking it. I wanted to pressure test it. I wanted to do the shakedown on it, but he insisted he needed to do it so that way he could, you know, work it while it was being tested. Okay. Fair enough. He made it 50 miles and then called me last night and sent me video. It's leaking antifreeze. Now, this engine, it's a Jasper engine and it's been bulletproofed if they did it correctly that means they put head studs head gaskets fuel injectors and a tune I think is what all includes it. I, I, I don't know again not a diesel guy somebody who is a diesel person can leave it in the comments and let me know what their idea or, or what the idea of bulletproofing a Ford 6.0 is I don't know um, the only way I'm able to work on this stuff is because people like you guys y'all are smarter than I am when it comes to the diesel so I take what you say and I try it so except nobody told me it was the fuel pump on this one everybody tried to tell me not in the comments but people outside that I've talked to kept trying to tell me, no, that motor's blown. No, that motor's not building compression. Yada, 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 yada. And it was a fuel pump. Maybe it's because I think simple. Who knows? Uh, it, it could very well be that I think simple is the reason I was able to find that it just didn't have fuel. Anyhow, guys, that being said, we're going to get over here, and I'm going to take a gander and see what's going on. Like I say, 50 miles, and now it's pouring antifreeze. Not not dripping, pouring. It was a steady stream, which is why I told him to park it and don't drive it. Because, I mean, if it's a freeze plug, okay, fair enough. I hope that's what it is. If it's a head gasket, it's going to have to get towed back to the shop, and we work on it there. Or if it's a loose head from them not torque the whole top of the engine the whole intake charge pipe and all that was left loose from the previous mechanic so it would not surprise me for the head studs to be just hand tightened on here just not enough ugga duggas I, I don't know that this place he took it to astonishes me so anyway We'll uh, get over here and see what's going on with it. And I'll uh, bring you guys back when we get there. Well, we made it out here to the F-450 in the parking lot there. And uh, yeah, I crawled up under there and all the freeze plugs appear to be in from what I can see. Uh, it's out of coolant. So I went ahead and put the uh, funnel on, the, the pressure funnel. So we're gonna go ahead and fill that up and see if we can identify where the coolant's coming from. But it looks like, from what I can see, it looks like it's coming from a head gasket. So let me get this coolant in and I'll show you guys where it's at. This is bad. This is bad. So I know I'm no diesel mechanic. I, I know that. I'm learning it as I go, working on this and you know doing research and stuff. But guys, I am gonna throw this out there. If you don't know what you're doing or don't, or are not confident in what you're doing or if your goal at the end of the day is to screw someone over don't do it don't do it so hang tight and i'll show you what i found out okay so a couple of issues here can you see that bolt hanging out right there yeah that shouldn't be hanging out that's the ac compressor 
that's just one of them. So I'm not getting in there in the parking lot to figure that out, but with the truck running, that's just bouncing around. It's not gonna fall out of there. It can't get past that loom and that hard spot down there. But aside from that, if you go back here, I don't know if you can see it on camera, there's a wet spot down there on the ground. But right above that starter is the head and the exhaust. And oh, let me see if I can shine a light in here. See the new exhaust gas or exhaust manifold gasket back there and the new, fairly new uh, freeze plugs. Those are all in. Anyway, if you work your way that uh if you work your way that way on that head, you'll notice there's a part of a multi-layer steel head gasket sticking out, which is fine. It's supposed to stick out a little bit on that. What it's not supposed to do is blow air bubbles. Yeah. And if you remember when I first got this truck to the house and had popped the hood, the charge pipe was loose, the intake line was loose, the EGR was loose, and all that. See, that's not wet up there. That's showing it's a brand new engine. Well, some of it's a little wet, but anyway, you can see it's a brand new engine. Actually, I don't know if you can see right there. Anyway, well, there's one of the head studs there. And the way I looked at it just a second ago, it looked like it was a little loose. And that one down there looks a little loose. So that's what I'm saying, guys. You can physically see the crack in between the head and the block right there. And that not in any situation that I'm aware of, you should be able to see it like that. So that being said, that's where we're at. So he's going to have the truck towed back to the house. And we're going to fix another mechanic's mess ups again. Now, somebody who knows more than me also can probably verify that when you put a new engine in a car of any sort, you should always check your fuel pressure because you don't want a lean situation. You don't want a lean popping engine of any sort, gas or diesel. If you lean pop diesel, and this is what I've recently found out, but if you lean pop diesels, you start melting pistons, uh, it starts combusting in the compression chamber this is all stuff I've read but that's bad in any situation that's bad so guys the next thing y'all see will be when this truck makes it to the house and we start working on it again we're going to go ahead and do a full front to back top to bottom inside and out we're going to check every head stud we're going to check every nut and bolt that could have possibly been touched. We're going to check the exhaust manifolds. We're going to check the intake manifold. Everything. And we're going to make sure this guy has a good running truck. We're going to do this. The American Auto family is going to do this because the guy he took it to is a shyster. He needs to go to selling used cars or vacuum cleaners or something because he is not a diesel mechanic. He's not a mechanic of any sort. I don't know of any mechanic that will send a car out like this or a vehicle out in this kind of shape and say it's done. I, 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 that's the kind of stuff that pisses me off if you don't know what you're doing or if you're too sorry to do the job the right way don't do it at all sorry guys sorry that, my, my blood pressure is a little high right now over this but anyway I'll bring you guys back as soon as I get it to the house as soon as the rollback brings it to the house and we get to start working on it again I will bring you guys back because we're going to take this step by step. And if anybody has any input, please feel free to leave it in the description down below. Uh, and, and tell me what all you think I need to check as well. If there's anything I'm missing. You know. If any of you guys are diesel mechanics. Bubba, I know, you're, I know you work on uh, heavy equipment. Maybe you might know something. Holler at me, man. Let me know what you think. Alright. You guys... That's, that's it on this for right now. When it gets back to the house, we'll do another video. This is going to end this one, so maybe I can get some input from you guys. Uh, 
let me know what you think. All right. Thank you for watching. Comment, like, subscribe, and I will see you guys tomorrow or the next day. Thanks.